All right, YouTube, the last of the probably not super, super interesting reviews before the good guys, the um, really cool reviews come up. We have Baroness and the Paris Pursuit get up. Um, looks like two guns, or four guns total. So um, definitely armed, the giant missile launcher and um, the base. Um, what do we have on the back here? We have Duke. Um, I've actually done these figures except for the Arctic Assault Snake Eyes and the Pear Viper. Um, like I said, working on the Arctic Assault Snake Eyes. Um, I'm only picking them up if I find them at Target, Walmart, or Toys R Us. I'm not getting them online. I'm not paying shipping for that. Um, the Pear Viper I do want to do. Um, so as soon as I find him as well, I will have the Pear Viper up. I do want to do the Pear Viper. Um, he does look fun and interesting. So, um, I really like that box art. Let's get her out of the package and find out what she's like. All right, and here she's out of the package. Um, interesting, I do have the other Baroness figure. Um, so I'll do some comparisons here, but it's kind of interesting. Um, but to start out, she does have the oversized missile launcher, and it fires with a surprising amount of force. Um, it only stopped because it hit the door. Um, a lot of force behind that one, so actually that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, here I have her, she's holding two of her guns, um, this, which she actually holds pretty tightly. Um, unfortunately, suffering from the female issue, she can't really hold the rifles um, two-handed. Um, she really does have to hold um, the rifles one-handed. Let's see if we can get this other one in her hand. Um, same as the um, Nano Viper, this is my first time playing with the toy doing the reviews. Okay, she does hold these um, pretty well. I like you. I like you very much. Um, see, it's the same gun. Um, just one's got a handle at the front, one's got a silencer and a scope. Um, let's see if she can hold the other. Let's see if she can hold this rifle. Let's find out. Oh, surprisingly well. Alright, um, very impressed. Um, she holds her guns incredibly well. Um, she does have um, a new face sculpt. It looks very much like Sienna Miller. Let's bring in the other one. Um, I think the face sculpt is much more accurate. It's a different face sculpt. And not to mention, um, she is a little paler, but she does have red lips that really do stand out. And she's got all black sunglasses that do not come off. But this one's got the regular Baroness. She's got kind of clear sunglasses that do come off. Then you take them off and you're like, ooh. That's a really scary looking head scope. Let's put the glasses back on. And they're kind of clear, which kind of sucks. They really should have been black. Um, would have been nice if they were black. Alright, get back to her in a little bit. Um, she is Paris Pursuit, so she's kind of got this whole leather suit with a dress. Um, I'm fearing this next part. But articulation wise, um, her hair does move out of the way when you start to bend her. Um, so the hair does not hinder her movement. Um, it'll block her from getting her arm up all the way over her head, but that doesn't bother me enough. Um, other arm is totally unhindered. Um, I will state this. The peg is almost too big for her foot. It takes a lot of effort to get her on and off. Um, the dress does hinder her movement. Same as with the regular Storm Shadow, but she can not put her legs back. So you can get a good running pose in here. Um, she does have an ankle joint. Like I said, it takes a lot of effort to get her back in. But as you can see, she actually holds pretty well on her own. Um, she's pretty well balanced. Um, the, you're not going to get a lot of movement in the leg. Um, but she's far more accurate than um, screen accurate than her counterpart. Um, eh, I can't really recommend a figure over the other one. Um, they both have very, very pleasing aspects in different ways. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to do a review on the other Baroness. If you guys do want me to do a review, post it down below. Um, I might get to it later. I haven't quite decided yet. But I can't really pick one over the other because this one's very screen accurate and comes with a lot of cool stuff. But this one's much more playable because this one can sit inside a vehicle. This one can't because this is gonna all this dress stuff is going to get in the way. And from what I'm playing with here, the dress does not come off. That's permanently on there. Um, as for being the Baroness... Um, I am going to give her a solid 8 out of 10. Um, she does do what I want her to do, and that is to stand there and look like a badass chick. Um, and, you know, all the things that we know Baroness is. She looks sexy, badass, and downright evil. 
even though this one's more playable, um, uh, I'll review that figure later. Um, but I do give this Baroness an 8 out of 10 because she does exactly what I want her to do. Um, which is exactly what she should do. She stands there and looks badass and looks like she can command the troops. And this is Navalis X7 and I'm signing out.